Hello there, how are you doing? I'm miserable, physically anyway. I'm recovering from a lousy case of strep throat, which is why I thought it would be the perfect moment to dive into the titillating world of prescription medication. Does that turn you on? I recently switched pharmacies from a normal one to Pill Pack, the Amazon pharmacy, which not only gets you your medications on time and for the lowest price available, but it also organizes each day's medication into a little packet that you just pull out of a dispenser and it's all perfectly organized and labeled and I love it. From the moment I saw it, I was like, that's for me because I hate these things, these pill organizers, no fun. I'm feverish, but today we're unboxing my first pill pack shipment and seeing how much time I'm finally gonna save when I don't have to do this boring chore anymore. Get healthy with me, put the chemicals in your body. Stay tuned for a pill pack Amazon pharmacy review. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for my first ever pharmacy review. I've reviewed lots of things, but never a pharmacy. Yeah, I take on the big guys. Amazon, you don't even know. I currently am prescribed about five different daily medications, which I'm not gonna tell you what they are, nosy. But one of my least favorite things to do is organizing them every Sunday into my pill organizer because it's mundane, it's boring. I never wanna do it on the day that I need to. So I end up just going back to the bottle and pouring them out for a few days until I finally do this. It's no fun. I think that pill pack might just be the answer to that issue, but we're gonna unbox it and find out. First though, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more, I guess, healthcare kind of stuff. I have a lot of healthcare issues, so I have a lot of, one of my diseases is that I talk like that. Guys, if I look sweaty, it's cause I am literally, I still have a fever, but. In today's work from home era, that doesn't mean anything. That's my business alone. Ugh, but I am on penicillin for the strep throat and it's been getting better every day, but still send me your healing vibes, thanks. Oh, so I was first introduced to pill pack before Amazon bought it because it was actually started out of my hometown or really close to it, actually in Manchester, New Hampshire, which is 45 minutes from where I grew up. Like it's the biggest city in New Hampshire and the city I grew up was the second biggest. That's not what this video is about though. The point is everyone knew about it because it was this cool startup that was doing something new with like cloud pharmacies. There weren't really a lot of cloud pharmacies at the time or online pharmacies. So it was intriguing. And then once it got so big that Amazon bought it, we were all like, oh cool. And in fact, the pharmacy for pill pack itself is still located in Manchester. They have locations all around the country, but their key one is in Manchester, New Hampshire. Also, can I tell you, this is my second time recording this video. The first time I didn't plug in the microphone. I didn't record half of it. My face was on backwards. It it just wasn't gonna work. So the reason I made the switch to pill pack is because I switched insurance and needed to find a new pharmacy anyway. So I thought, let me log into pill pack and see if it's, you know, as easy to move here as it would be to go to Walgreens. And that was my first sign that this was gonna be a service I would enjoy. The website is very user friendly. It has this like soft, healthcare look to it that a lot of millennial, uh, you know, medical companies are trying to go after this year. Serif fonts, soft colors, off-white. And right from the beginning, you can see, look how cool these pill packs look. It labels the time of day that you're supposed to take them, the date that you're supposed to take them, and every pill that's inside. And they come in a wheel and you just pull them all off. So you're not dealing with all these bottles anymore. You're not dealing with having to move them into another organizer. Why didn't anyone think of this sooner? And the best part is it's all done for only the cost of your medication's copay. They don't charge extra to put it into these packaging, which I think is so smart. I don't know how they do it, but I'm so into it. And the process of getting started was really easy. I just put in my current doctor, my previous doctor, and found all of my prescriptions. They made it really easy to search for them in their database. So within minutes, I had the list of all my medications and they just showed me a pending status when they were calling my doctors for me to get those prescriptions approved, which was another great thing. I didn't have to do anything. They just took care of it all on their end. I don't know who they have like dealing with all these phone calls or emails to my doctor's office, but I really appreciate that I didn't have to even think about it. At first I was skeptical. I was like, they're really gonna call all my doctors? I'm talking really fast. It's cause I have strep throat, just get over it. And from now on, now that I'm all set up, it makes it so easy to manage my medications from here. I can change my shipping address, easily print my medication list for my doctors, change my billing. And they even let you add over the counter medications to your pill pack. So if I wanted allergy meds or my fiber pills, 
pills in these pill packs, I could do that too. So the user-friendly website was a major plus for me because if your website is bunk, then we're gonna have an issue. And I need to really trust a website if it's gonna be delivering my medications. The shipping was actually really fast too. Within a day or so of setting up my medications, they shipped me out my prescription bag, which is like this, and it actually lists the dates that it's good for. So this one is from June 7th to July 6th. And that's helpful because normally medication bottles don't say any of that. You just know how many pills you have left, not how good you were at taking the pills on time. I'll hide the medications, but you can also see it lists what the pills look like there, which is great for safety, especially if these are medications for somebody maybe with limited cognitive ability or memory care issues or anything where supervision is really important for taking medication. This would help a caretaker be more clear on how med compliance is going. You know what I'm saying? So there's lots of ways that this is helpful beyond just the convenient use that I'm looking for here. I have a phone call in 10 minutes and I just know I'm gonna be late. What else did I wanna talk about? Probably that's it. Now we'll let the fun begin. I haven't unboxed any of this shipment yet, so this is gonna be all new to me and I'm just hoping that this is what I thought it would be. All right, first in the bag, that's my topical medication, which obviously can't go in a pill pack, but that's fine. It's nice that it's a full service pharmacy. They can do topicals, over the counters, whatever it is. Oh, look, it's like a roll of medication. That's so cool. Now, this is smaller, admittedly, than I thought it would be, but that's only because the picture shows like a really big one. However, it would be longer and bigger if I had to take an AM and a PM medication or a morning, afternoon, and night medication. The more doses you have per day, obviously the more packs there will be and the longer the roll will be. But for me, it's just a 30-day supply, so it seems pretty tight. Cool. There is the medication itself. And on the front, it tells me the time and date that I should be taking this, which I didn't even know about the date part. Although, like I said, that makes so much sense because it really helps you keep track of when you took your pills. There have been many times where I am like, did I take my meds this morning? And then I'm stressed about it because I either have to choose between potentially missing a dose for the day if I skip it or doubling up on a dose if I unwittingly take it twice. So this would really help prevent that if I can actually stay on the date so I won't start taking this till July or till June 7th so that it can align with the dates they give us but then it looks like we just pull off from this end and they'll just come out let's see what the dispenser is like because that's the real premium hard goods you know what I'm saying and then we'll take a look and see just how much time I'm saving by not having to organize my pill the old-fashioned way time to unbox her so they have a kind of disposable medication dispenser that's like a cardboard box and that's free and that's fine and good but they also sell these pre premium dispensers, which are refillable in plastic, and you could choose between two colors. So, I mean, obviously, it was only $15, and you can choose between blue and purple. And I wanted to, like, if I'm gonna do this, I wanna put it on my countertop and make it look nice, like a little more permanent. So let's see. Yes, this is a solid thing. This is like how nice I was hoping it would be. It feels like a nice heavy grade plastic. These are thick walls. Then, okay, this is just a hingy part. Oh, so you drop in your medication, I guess, like that. We got that nice pill pack logo on the front there. Very nice touch. Oh, and then inside, this is so cute. A little travel pouch. That's so cute. So when I'm going on a little day trip, I can rip off five little packets or whatever and tuck them in nicely in here, along with my tampons and condoms. That's so much fun. I love her. Okay, so I thought there would be some sort of slot on the side there, but it looks like we're gonna do it more like this. Drop it in. Yay! Oh, cool. And then I simply pull it out this way. Wow, all my medication. That's so neat. I'm so into that. Okay, now I have to wind this back up. Just in case anyone's gonna comment this, which you probably will, I definitely recognize that this does create more waste than just a bottle like this. Like obviously I'm gonna have an empty packet every night, but I'm really good at recycling. That's it, that's all you need to know. It's my business. <laughs> So yeah, that's really cool. This will just stay right there and I just pull out one more at a time. Oh cool, I don't get it. It's like, boom. That's really cool, loving it. Now let's go put this somewhere nice on my counter and see what it looks like. We're coming off the deep end. Pill pack. I think maybe. Very nice. I'll probably push it back like Something like that, maybe. Put that right back there. 
Ta-da! Now that's an attractive way to keep your medication. I mean, everything else looks a little cluttered, but right? Hi. Oh, have you guys seen my new camera? Are you seeing it now? Guys, look how sweaty my face looks. Oh, hello, we are back here. I just had to take my Zoom call, which is why I changed into a t-shirt that didn't feature my chest hair. And now we're gonna do a thing. I need to get my phone for it. Because of the amount of procrastination that happens when it's time to refill my pill organizer, I assumed it must take like 10 or 15 minutes every single time because I'm just so bored. And even if I'm, like, it's an easy task, I can do it in front of the TV, but I'm still like, oh, I hate it. It might also just be annoying because when I was in rehab, you had to sit with a counselor once a week and watch them count out your medication to like verify that they were doing it right and you'd just be like, I don't care, put some arsenic in there. So I'm gonna set a timer to see exactly how long it takes me to refill this guy for my last week of conventional non-pill pack medication and that way I can multiply it and figure out exactly how much time I'm getting back in my full calendar year. Stopwatch. Okay, everything is lined up and ready. Three, two, one, start. Ha, ha. I shouldn't rush, I want the real time feel of it. I want to know exactly what. So normally I'm watching TV while I'm doing this. That's the theme song for my favorite TV show. It's called Little House on the Prairie. Hey ho, little house. Hey ho, little house. Hey ho, little house on the prairie. Ew, that voice, that sound I just made. Hey ho, little Okay, one out of the four done. Normally, they just changed my dosage. I had to normally split those last pills in half, so it would take even longer because I would have to use my little fingers to break them in half. Like, each one of them I had to go like this, uh, which hurts in a way. Not really, but sometimes I just like to complain. Um, all right, two out of four medications. This is taking my whole life. Like, this isn't a long time, but it feels like a long time, right? You get it. There is my penicillin. This will kill the streptococcal bacteria that is infecting my blood. I'm so not into getting sick, you guys. It's the worst. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, got that one taken care of. And now, our final. What about you guys? What pharmacies do you know and love? I know a lot of people have switched to mail order pharmacies since the quarantine, which is smart and healthy and more convenient. I'm just like, have it delivered. I can't be going to stores, pick things up. It's awful. And stop. Two minutes and 10 seconds. That's so much extra time in my day. No wonder I hate doing that. Spending two minutes on something that you don't have to do is like actually soul crushing. And according to my calculations, two minutes and 10 seconds, that is 70 seconds times 70 seconds times 52 weeks is 3,640 seconds. 3,640 seconds divided by 60. I just made back one full hour and two thirds of an hour. No, and then two thirds of a minute. 60 minutes and 60 minutes and 40 seconds, just about. You guys, I just saved a full hour and 40 seconds back in my year. What am I gonna do with it? I could watch a portion of a feature film. I could read a magazine until I got bored. I could scroll on my phone endlessly. That's probably where that time will end up going. That was really boring. I hated doing that. You guys, I had to open four different bottles and use my fingernails like a caveman. Here's how much time it takes me to get my pill organized now. Oh, pill pack? So easy. And then I'm good, then I'm healthy. Wow, I'm so glad that I'm not afraid to try new things because some people will just be going to a pharmacy for the rest of their lives, writing paper checks, not getting direct deposit, just because it's like what they've been doing since forever or what their parents were doing back in the early 90s. It's not that world anymore. Life can be so much easier. And now it is, thanks to my pill pack by Amazon Pharmacy. If you guys are interested in pill pack Amazon Pharmacy, I'll put the link to it in the description below, or you can just go to amazon.com. I don't think I'll get a commission off of your co-pays for your medication, but just in general, let me know if you take daily medications, what do you do to make sure that you can take them on time and reliably? Because that's a struggle for a lot of people. I'm sure anyone could use your tip. But most importantly, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more healthcare related reviews like this. And make sure you click that subscribe button right down there. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week, doing product reviews, pop culture commentary, giving my opinion all over the place, and if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss a single one of them. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for packing pills with me today. You are all the greatest. I will see you next time.